Sarah the Sweet Pea Chef, welcome back. And do you love a freshly baked muffin as much as I do? I remember in college, I would just eat blueberry muffins at the store on repeat. I would go and get those jumbo muffins and just have them as a snack. This also happened to be when I ballooned up to 200 pounds, which probably had a lot to do with it. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own fresh peach muffin using delicious and healthy clean ingredients with a crumb topping, and this recipe is high in protein and low in carbs, making it the perfect muffin recipe. Before we get started, go and subscribe to my channel so you never miss my new weekly recipe videos and you get healthy inspiration. And if you do, let me know in the comments below and I will say hi. All right, so let's get started by preheating our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and we need to grease a 12 cup muffin tin with a little bit of coconut oil. If you didn't want to use coconut oil, you could use grapeseed oil or olive oil, or if you didn't want to use any oil, you could use some cupcake liners. Now we're gonna make our muffin batter, and to do this, we're gonna divide it into wet and dry ingredients. So starting with our dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add in some spelt flour, followed by some baking powder, some ground cinnamon, ground ginger, and some sea salt. And then just stir all of that to combine. I like to use a whisk to stir everything because it gets really nicely mixed together and it doesn't get flour everywhere. So instead of our spelt flour, you could use whole wheat pastry flour, or for a gluten-free option, you could use cassava flour or almond flour. All of those would be equal ratios to what we're using with the spelt flour. Or you could also use coconut flour, which is a really great option that's gluten-free, but it does require extra liquids, and I'll show you what I mean later. So you're gonna be needing to add in some extra egg whites or some mashed fruit as well. You could also use oat flour, but that's gonna require a one and a half to one ratio to our spelt flour. So you'll just need to use a little bit more oat flour to spelt flour if you wanna do that. And as always, if you have any questions on recipe substitutions for ingredients, feel free to ask a question in the comments and I'll get back to you on it. For our wet ingredients, in a separate mixing bowl, add in your milk of choice. I use unsweetened almond milk, followed by some melted coconut oil, vanilla extract, egg whites, and pure maple syrup, and then stir to combine. If you wanna replace the oil in this recipe or you just don't like coconut oil, you can always replace that in equal amounts with some unsweetened applesauce or some mashed bananas or even some mashed peaches in this case. I also chose to use egg whites instead of a whole egg for this recipe because it's a really easy and simple, high protein, low calorie option. In fact, using egg whites in your recipe instead of the egg, you're gonna get all of the same protein but less cholesterol and less fat and it's actually half the calories. And if you're wanting to keep these muffins vegan, you can totally use a flax egg or a chia egg substitute. You just wanna add in enough so that the texture looks identical to what it looks like in this video before it goes into the oven, and that way you know you are good to go. Now pour the wet mixture into the dry mixture and stir that together, and make sure to just mix it until it's just combined. You don't wanna over mix it because that will make our muffins not as fluffy later. For this recipe, we're gonna need a cup of diced peaches, so that's usually about one to two good sized peaches. We're gonna dice them up into evenly sized pieces, no need to remove the skin. It actually will cook really nicely and it won't affect the texture at all. I'm also using fresh peaches today, but you can totally use frozen peaches. Just make sure to have them thaw beforehand. And now for my favorite part, adding in our diced peaches. I absolutely love having chunks of fresh peach in my muffins and it's so good in this recipe. However, if you're not a fan of having chunks of fruit in your muffins, like my kiddos, you can always just mash up all of that peach goodness and then you can put it into your muffin recipe. It'll still taste the same, it'll just have a different texture. All right, now to make our delicious and super easy crumb topping in a separate mixing bowl, we're gonna add in a little bit of spelt flour or whichever flour you've chosen to use in this recipe, followed by a little coconut sugar, coconut oil, ground cinnamon, and sea salt. And then we're gonna work this together with our fingers and kind of squeeze everything together until everything is coated and then set this aside for just a second. Now we're gonna grab our muffin batter and we're gonna carefully divide it into our muffin tin. You can either pour it in, you can use some spoons, or you can do what I really like, and that's using an ice cream scoop, which is 
super easy. Now we're gonna grab that crumb topping and we're going to sprinkle it liberally over the top of all of our muffins and divide that evenly. Now we're gonna transfer our muffin tin into the oven and we're gonna bake for about 18 to 20 minutes or until inserted toothpick comes out clean or you can also tell if you kind of jiggle it and it's not jiggly anymore. Then remove them from the oven and allow them to set for a few minutes and then carefully transfer them to a wire rack and allow them to cool completely. These peach muffins get devoured in our house. Everybody loves them. They go so quickly and they're so easy to make and have such good unrefined ingredients. They're awesome. They make a perfect snack, breakfast, or just sweet treat and your kids are gonna love them. Plus with all the different ingredient variations that we've talked about today, I'm betting there's a good way to make these muffins fit your healthy lifestyle. I can't make all the different recipes, substitutions, and test every single possibility. So if you make something and it turns out, or if it doesn't turn out, come share in the comments and let us know so that we can all know. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure to check out my healthy and easy muffins playlist for tons of muffin recipes. I think you're gonna love it. Thanks so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.